Good morning, YouTube land. It's Debbie from the Canadian Crotcheter. Uh, today's the day for the giveaway. Uh, but I have to make a couple of apologies. First of all, I did not get a tan. It's the overhead light. My ring light uh, died and I don't want to wait for it to charge. So, uh, and it's really overcast outside. So I have no natural light, no ring light. I have to settle for the overhead dining light and it has an orange tinge to it. So I do apologize. Um, yeah, we're having a cold snap. If it wasn't for the giveaway, I wouldn't be doing a video at all. Uh, my joints just don't want to cooperate today <laughs> for the last couple of days. And it looks like it's going to continue for the next few days. So I'm not sure how much crocheting I'll be able to do, how much of anything I'll be able to do. You got any suggestions on what I could binge watch on Netflix? Anyway, um, yeah, so it's going to be lots of tea, lots of coffee today. Try and, oh, I should talk about my, my mug. So this is from New Orleans. I went to New Orleans a few uh, years ago. Love that city. Love it, love it, love it. Anyway, bought this mug and within a month it was chipped. I was so upset because uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good mug. Anyway, I was very, very upset. And then a few months later, my daughter was going for Mardi Gras and I said to her, well, if you're there, pick up this mug. And I sent her a picture. She found it and brought it back for me. And I was like, yes, look, chipped it. I'm so upset, what is wrong? <laughs> I know what's wrong. My joints don't work, I'm a klutz, I drop everything. But anyway, I still use it. Anyway, um, today's the day for the giveaway. There's gonna be some changes with regards to the giveaway. But before we get into that, I want to show you what I finished. It hasn't been much because knuckles don't want to work so well. Um, but anyway, I finished Hannah's frost shawl. And the only change that I made, I love it by the way, uh, the only change that I made is this last ribbing section is supposed to be much thicker, but I really liked how thin, I like the thin edging. I thought it looks really good like that. So. And it doesn't really, it's still pretty big, so it doesn't affect the size too much. Anyway, I made it, and that's part of the giveaway. The yarn, I used Barocco Weekend. There's no color, it's just numbers, and there's like a teal and a gray color. Oops, oops. I cannot talk enough about this pattern. It, get, it creates a very dense fabric, which is awesome. And I used... Um, this is partly cotton, so it's 75% acrylic, 25% cotton. Um, yeah, I love it, I love it. It has to be blocked still, I think, or maybe I won't even block it, because I think it looks pretty good without, without being blocked. Anyway, it's very big, and she uses it like this. I will probably use it the regular way. Awesome pattern, and uh, as a matter of fact, she's giving uh, the pattern to the fir per first prize winner. Good job, Hannah. All your all her patterns are fabulous. Like money well spent, more than well spent. She's very thorough. She gives you so much information. You know, how sometimes you spend even even two dollars, and you get like disappointed with the pattern. Not the case with Hannah's patterns. Not the case at all. I still make the Treasure Island shawl one of my favorites. Anyway. The other thing that I made, okay, so she's also hosting the Love Your Stash Cal, which has given me a boost. I am working through my stash as best as I can. I've been cleaning out the uh, my craft area, and uh, she's all due to the Love Your Stash Cal, so I've been trying to use up as much of my stash as possible. So I came across two big honking uh, cakes of this Bernat Pop Bulky. It's a uh, number six and the colorway is cool teal and thought I'll make a pillow and I did. Now I decided to play with cables. Um, now this this is not a seam. This is the color breaks. I decided not to uh, not to control the color. I just went. And I've done cables before and they're okay, 
What I don't like about cables is when you're creating cables, they may create these little holes from where the yarn is being pulled. I don't like that. But, hey, it's done. Uh, it's another pillow that's going to my daughter, and I think she'll like it, but I will not be buying this again. Um, it's not that, it's okay. It's not, I'm not impressed with it. So anyway, made that. Just a regular throw pillow. But, use some of my stash. So, that. That's all I've got done. That's all I finished. I've got lots of whips, but that's all I've got done. So, on to the giveaway. All right, so I've got my um, random common picker. And uh, we're gonna pick the first winner we'll get. Oh my goodness. Okay, the first winner we'll get the, hold on a second. Four skeins of the Barocco Weekend in the teal. Two skeins in the gray. Sorry, the lighting is off. I already said that. But during, while I was cleaning, I found two more skeins of the same yarn in black. So you'll have the option. Anyway, so the first winner will get that. And plus, Hannah will send you a digital, uh, digital copy of her pattern. And the first winner is Anna King. Anna. Anna King. And she's amazing, Anna. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Um, I believe that the second prize winner will get two jumbo skeins of the Brunette Cozy Style, and that's because it's made in Canada. You'll have to excuse the packaging. Not me, that's Walmart. So you'll get two of these. And the colorway is, I don't know. I don't know. But it's like a tealy, tealy green, bluish color. So I get two of those. And no, sorry, I'm scatterbrained today. And to pick another winner. And the second winner is Margaret Bergen. Margaret Bergen. Okay, so Margaret, uh, I'll put the my contact uh, information down below. Oh, we'll talk about it in a second. Now, third winner. Hold on, pick another winner. The third winner. Well, that's doing. You're gonna get two jumbo skeins of the Bernat Softy Chunky. One's like a purple color. One's like a bluish, bluish teal color. But they're big. And that winner is Charlene Chapman. Charlene Chapman. Okay. Um, but I want to add one more giveaway. Um, and I should have talked about it in the giveaway video, but I forgot. I'm scatterbrained. Anyway, so I'll talk about it now and then I'll pick the fourth winner. So. I think you all know, I've talked about Beaker Butt the Goose um, a while ago, and you guys have all been fabulous. The owner of the store contacted me and said that the sales uh, were amazing after I talked about it. So I can only thank you all, like it's amazing. So basically what, if, if, if you didn't see that, basically, Beaker the Goose lost his bill in a fight, and uh, I think it was with a mink. Um, anyway, then he was uh, adopted, or and he's being raised at a sanctuary run by a woman named Nicole. Now, to raise money to help these animals, uh, Nicole makes bags. But ingeniously, she makes bags from recycled feed bags. So... Anyway, great idea. She's using her skills to raise money to help these animals and, uh, and then sells them on Etsy. I will leave her link down below. If you guys could help, that would be awesome. I think these are fabulous because more and more cities are banning plastic bags and these are extremely handy. Um, they're sturdy. Um, she does a great job. Anyway, this is her her tag 
Now, she, because of you guys were all fabulous uh, with the sales, she has decided to donate one of the bags, um, which is so kind of her. Now, she obviously she doesn't have, I don't know if these are alpaca or llamas. I don't know. Um, but what she also does, she obviously doesn't raise, she doesn't take care of these animals, um, but she has mm, dealings with other farms in the area and they save these bags for her and then she converts them into uh, shopping bags. Now, she's donated the bag, but not only that, one of the farms that she gets these bags from makes um, alpaca yarn. So they raise the alpaca and get yarn. Is it yarn or is it wool? No, it can't be wool because wool is sheep, right? No, fibers, alpaca fibers. Um, they donated two skeins. I'm like blown away. Um, it's squishy, I mean, it's warm. It's very warm. And this is 90% uh, alpaca, 10% wool and you'll get 80 yards each. And one is like a purpley color and one is gray. Now it says here, the name of the store or the name of the company is Earth Treasures, brought to you by the Natural Fiber Producers Cooperative. Your purchase is helping to sustain small family fiber farms and textile mills across the US. So anyway, I think it's fabulous. Um, yeah, so they, they've included two, two of these skeins. I'm sure you can create something with it. But I'm not gonna leave it at just that. I'm going to add three skeins of Bernat Wool Up Worsted. All three are made in Canada. The first one is dark gray heather. The second one is light gray heather. And the third one is dress blue heather. So that will be prize number four. Okay. And Okay, pick another winner. After all that battling. She, Nicole is absolutely fabulous. If you guys could support her, it'd be absolutely fat. And the, the winner is Helen Walker. Or Helpful Helen. So Helen, you were the recipient of uh, package number four. Uh, if you could all contact me at my email address is crochet2018 at rogers.com. But I will leave the link down below. And uh, yeah, that's my giveaway. Um, off, right after this, I'm gonna go curl up under a blanket and any suggestions for Netflix binging? Cause I'm not a big TV watcher, but I need something to do cause my not working very well. Um, anyway. Hopefully everyone will have a wonderful week and yeah, hopefully better than weather than we're having. Anyway, we will talk soon.